let's listen and focus on the guitar how it pans at, as it sustains the notes okay and what happens when I push the mid by 2 dB now you're going to feel as if the stereo field has shrank as you raise the mid and you did not raise the side so what you have to do now is add another instance of uh, p42 in side mode push the side another 2 db but now you need then again to balance and bring the whole signal down to match it with the original signal let's take that option or workflow out and let's focus just on the mid I pushed the mid by 2 dB and uh, all I have to do is push that uh, main out of the mid because now I'm in mid you see the blue uh, button um, so if this is 2 and I lowered by 2 I should get similar uh, level or relation between the mid and the side once you have saturation also on the mid, then you cannot figure out what's the number. Your best bet would be use, using the GCC. Let's give it a shot. Now let's move uh, further. I like what I have right now. It just added a bit of thickness in the mid without disturbing the relation of the mid and side. What if now I want to push the whole signal, the stereo signal, before it enters the mid? The input drive has a different algorithm and different flavor color. So I want to add it to the whole stereo signal. Of course, I can add other plugins and do this and that. I'm showing only with one plugin in mid how you can balance everything out. It's an advanced technique. So, what I you, here you have to imagine on this side there is an input drive before the signal switch to mid and process the mid. So, if I switch to the input drive, this one is up here. So it will drive the stereo signal. And now to balance that input stereo signal, I need a clean out after it goes through the mid, combines back somewhere here before it mixes with the dry, wet and dry. I need a clean out of that stereo to lower it. And that's the function of this one, main out. So when I push this, I can push that pull push pull gain attenuate let's give it a try 